Hello and welcome to Real Excel Epilepsy Portal. Today Virginia had a tonic-clonic seizure in a very awkward position and we will tell you all about it in this video. Yes, hi baby. Hi baby. Hi baby. Hi. Hello. Hello. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Here, yes, you go. Don't kiss you. Can I kiss you? Can I have kisses? What my kisses? Can I have kisses? Kiss mama. Kiss. Good girl. Kiss mommy. Kiss. Mommy wants to kiss. I'm kissing. I picked him up and put him on the table, honey. Okay. How are you doing? I know you're in pain, but tell me overall, do you still feel dizzy or anything? Did I ask what time it was already? Yes, I have no idea what time it is. And I don't care. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're not going to get to see what time it is because it doesn't matter what time it is. Uh, yeah, it's it's evening time. still. Okay? It's not morning. So you don't have to worry about your medication. Okay? You already told me you took the evening medication. Did you? But what time is it? Oh, is it possible you didn't take any medication? It's possible. No, you can't take it right now, because right now you need to recall. But I have to know what time it is. <sighs> okay, so from now on, that little pill box that I bought for you, where you put pills every day. I'm going to schedule. Where you put the pills like for each day, like a Monday, Tuesday. The schedule you, pill box. Yes, you need to start using that one. Okay? You really have to because this is just for you and me to make sure that you had your medication, okay? Okay. Because right now we don't know if you had it. You told me before that you did. Uh -huh. But then again, that happened before. And then you said, like five times later after you confirmed, you said that you didn't take any. So now we'll wait until you get some memory back and feel better, okay? You find out if you took your medication for sure? Um, yeah, I took my medication. So now you remember? Yeah. I don't think you're sure. Okay. Monday. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to the same time. I'm going to go to the same time. But you assured me that you did. I didn't take medic even medication today. I wouldn't have let you go out if I didn't. You told me that you did. Uh -huh. You were in bed when I asked you, did you take your medication? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, I 
Yeah. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked you to go out for me. No, 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 it's okay. I took the medication after you asked me. You took it after I asked you? Yeah. After you told me that you already took it? Yeah. I took it right after you asked me. Why you tell me you took it if you didn't take it? Tell them that so that you would know that I took it. If you didn't take it, I would have given it to you. Why Honey, you took it? I'm not gonna yell at you or, or, or be upset. I'm just gonna help you and assist you to take it. Okay. Okay, so you don't have to lie to me. Please don't lie to me okay. about the medication. Because if I know that you're a couple of hours late, uh. that's a red flag for you not to be going out, okay? And staying in bed. Yes, it's okay, honey. It's okay. Um, you want me to help you up? I'm going to have to. Yes. I had to take it off. I had to... The hat fell off at the door. I had to drag you from there to here. To lay you down on the side. So you could start breathing properly. Because I couldn't open your airways when you were in the position you were. Okay. Your legs were spread with your knees bent. So, you know, that's, and, and, uh, you seemed like, mm, trouble. You could, yeah, I had to get you to open your airway, so I had to get you on the side. Now, was the most thing I was worried about you after that, after you started breathing, I was worried about your, your knees. So if your knees hurt a lot, like, we're going to see how the knees are going, because... If they hurt right now, mm -hmm. how bad? It hurts to bend them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you were having a seizure while you were in that position, so you remember the one that you had a few years back? In that position, your, your legs and your knees were hurting for like two weeks. After yeah. that. Yeah. <clears throat> you're not cold, honey, because your tummy is open. Okay. Cover up your tummy a little bit, because I'm in a lot of pain right now. Cover it up better, so you keep your temperature. Your body needs to recover. I know. Was you still have to go out. Yeah, I'll go. No, you're not going out. You go, I'm gonna help you on your bed. Okay. Are you okay? Well, if you're staying in bed, I don't think you would have had it. Um, I think you were stressing out because you wanted to go out. And you know, I was taking my time to get dressed because I'm putting a lot of clothes on. Because I've been having pneumonia and I don't want, to, I don't want it to get worse, okay? I'm still very sick and I don't want it... I don't want the air to go through my lungs. Cold air, because that makes it worse. That's a really good sign, so you can move them, okay? So it hurts, so. I know, but it's a really good sign. That means you didn't break anything. But you need to pay attention, just close attention. I scream while trying to move it, I'm gonna... If you scream, push. then you would know it's broken. Yeah. <coughs> so... Do you remember putting that on? <sighs> putting his shoes on? Yeah. Okay. 
baby yes honey we're just gonna help you to get on bed okay just gonna help you to get on the bed sweetheart okay Yeah, the dog just stayed with you. They were good. Zina was the one trying to attend you to get to get to you to attend you. Baby was a lot calmer. Okay, mama. You tell me when you're feeling better, cause it's uh, the floor is cold, and I don't want you to stay on the floor. Okay. Oh, don't get up by yourself. I'm gonna help you, okay? Hold on. So I'm very happy that she's able to cross her legs and move them around because it was Feels really... Better. My legs like this. Yeah, it's gonna help you because they were twisted the other way. Okay? And so this... Tongue. This is... Yes, your tongue was bleeding already when you were in the seizure. So you bit it because of the position you were in. I'm glad the dogs are not whining too much. They understand that you're not feeling well. Well, they were whining and it was a little bit adding to my stress. Zena knows. Hmm? Zena knows very well what the Sushi is doing. Why did they come? I think Zena was whining. Oh, Zena was whining. She knew. She was whining, and then, and so I came. You were already in the seizure. Um, is your head okay? Because you were kind of really close with your face to the edge of the wall here. Oh, my head's over there. Yeah, don't worry about that. Edge of the wall. Oh, yeah, see the, the corner here? Not a corner, the the edge of the wall sticking out. This edge here. Is this it? Yeah. Mm. Your legs were split and oh my god, I was so worried about you. Have you had that seizure, that kind of a seizure before? Okay. When you were like, your legs just opened up. Yeah. But I'm glad. Don't worry, buddy. I'm gonna take you out, okay? I'm gonna get mommy in bed safe first, okay? Mm. And then we'll go out. Okay. Because I don't think mommy should go outside right now at all. Okay. You ready, honey? I agree with you. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. Don't get up by yourself. I'm gonna help mm. you. And it's time for the tip of the day. For the person with seizures, taking your medication every day and on time is of utmost importance. Make sure you set your alarm as a reminder to do so. Another extremely useful tip is using the pill dispenser, which will let you know if you have taken your medication already. Please remember to like, subscribe and share this video for epilepsy awareness. Lots of love to all of you and see you next time.